What's up everybody? Noah Kids back here for a lot of Christmas reviews, so let's get right into it. Christmas in Harmony is all about Harmony, played by Ashley Murray, who is tricked into auditioning for the Holiday Chorus, the Holiday Choir, directed by an ex-boyfriend uh, named Kyle Noah. Named Kyle Noah, played by Luke James. By Christmas Eve, they could be harmonizing in the key of love. This is one that I was not excited for. I was a choir person. I was in two choirs. Uh, I was in a high school show choir, and I was in a church choir as well. So this movie was pretty much made for me. One thing I do have to say is that this movie really does capture what it's like to have a Christmas show when you're in a chorus. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to call it a chorus. I'm going to call it a choir because that's what it is. It's a choir. Uh, I think this film really captures the spirit of that. The Christmas spirit? Sort of. And I'm going to get into what my thoughts on this are right now, but first we're going to take a look at the other films from the actors here. We have Ashley Murray. This is her first venture into Hallmark film. Uh, she has done, uh, Valley Girl, the 2020 remake. We also have Luke James. This is his first venture into it. But he does have experience with film, like with Horror Noir uh, for AMC, Dear Mama for VH1, and Little. But uh, besides that, this is their first Hallmark venture, as well as Rusty. I'm not going to try and say his last name, because I will butcher it. This is his first venture into the romantic genre like this. Mostly what he's done is horror and raunchy comedy, like Movie 43 and Sprung. Uh, he He's also done the Tales from the Hood, 1, 2, and 3 films. So this is a new venture for these people. What I'm going to say is as a first-time film for them in this type of genre, they did really well. I think this film really, really works for the most part. For the most part, the movie works based on the chemistry and the screenplay. However... I just thought the film was just fine at most. There was nothing over the top that made me love this movie. The music was great. I loved all the voices in here. The singing was top-notch. It was great for that. But the chemistry at the beginning of the film really didn't start to spark until about halfway into it. Which is a problem, because if you don't have chemistry throughout the whole film, yes, it is supposed to build more and more and more throughout the film, but when it doesn't start to spark when you first see them, then that's a little problem because it's going to give me a little reason to maybe be a little afraid why they aren't giving me that spark that a Hallmark couple needs to give me. But Ashley Murray does a really good job in her line delivery and in her mannerisms to make me start to believe that. Luke James... I thought he was fine, but I thought he was just a bit standoffish at some points. I could tell that they did a couple takes here and there. There there was no ADRing issues. I thought the costume design, especially for the chorus choir numbers, was amazing. Overall, I thought this film was just fine at best. But for somebody who's a big Hallmark guy and was a little disappointed in Christmas in my heart last week, I thought this was a... Good step up with the music aspect to it. So we got two music films in a row. We have a lot more Hallmark Christmas coming your way. We have Coyote Christmas, uh, no, Coyote Creek Christmas, as well as the Christmas, Prana, the Christmas Promise. I still need to watch uh, Christmas Sale, as well as Much Ado About Christmas from GAC Family. So we have two more to watch. We also got some Up TV movies coming soon. We got a few Lifetimes that I will be covering. We got Netflix coming out this weekend. We have Disney Plus, uh, Home Sweet Home Alone next week. A lot of Christmas coming your way, and a lot of classic Christmas, a lot of classic Christmas reviews that I will be giving to you guys. So I thought this one was fine. The chemistry was there for the most part, but it sparks just a little bit too late. Christmas in Harmony gets a B minus. Still better than Christmas in My Heart. I think I might prefer Crashing Through the Snow just a little bit more. But it is definitely better than Christmas in My Heart. Not that it was a bad film, but it just wasn't up to my standards for a film like that, and I had some issues with that one as well. How will Coyote Creek Christmas and the Christmas Promise stand up? Well, we'll see you next time.